Hi, my name is Anna Kulicek. I'm an equine behaviour consultant working in the UK and this video is going to be discussing the kind of products that are on the market that we can use to manage fly populations around our horses because we're coming into spring and summer and flies are going to start becoming much more of an issue. Horses can end up losing sleep from flies and they can uh, wind up not eating as much throughout the day because the flies will cause them to walk away from areas of good grazing and prevent them from lying down often. In addition to that, they can also use a lot of energy trying to keep flies away from them. So other than walking around, they can also stamp their feet, flick their tail, kick up with their belly, all that sort of stuff, just to try and keep those flies away from them and stop them biting. Common products that are on the market are fly sprays and fly creams. These are often uh, synthetic compounds uh, like permethrin, which is a chemical that has been artificially created to mimic natural fly repellents, as well as other natural fly repellents like citronella. Our more traditional sprays can sometimes be more expensive than products like citronella sprays, and sometimes it can be difficult to work out if the spray is effective. One study looked at different types of fly sprays and found that the particular brand EcoVet had a very effective fly spray at both the 100% and 50% concentrations. So that could be a money saver if you're in an area where they sell that. Other than fly sprays and fly creams, there's also wearable devices. So horses can have horse leggings. These can help prevent biting flies from going onto their legs, as well as bands which can contain similar chemical products to our fly sprays, but you don't have to actually spray them onto the horse. We've also got the option of rugs. So lightweight cotton rugs and specifically branded fly rugs can be really beneficial. Um, patterns like stripes and checkers have been shown to be quite effective at reducing the number of flies landing on our horses. But you have to be mindful with it because if you have a horse who is overweight or struggles with the heat, then putting a rug on them might compromise their thermoregulation. If the horse's face is getting irritated a lot more, then fly masks are also an option. If your horse is being stabled, one study looked at using a food safe chemical, sodium bisulfate, and using it on the floors every single day. And they found that using uh, 500 um, milligrams of the product up to um, 1.1 kilos, was effective at reducing the number of flies in the stables. Wild horses obviously don't have any of these products, so the way that they stay uh, free of flies is by moving. They'll go to different areas where the fly population is reduced throughout the course of the day because flies typically uh, stay in areas that aren't very windy and are quite warm. So Horses can move to areas that are quite windy or areas where the flies won't be able to settle and that typically keeps them a little bit safer. So if you have facilities that allow that, then offering that to horses allows them to pick and choose where they can go throughout the day. Reducing the irritation of flies for our horses during both stabling, turnout and ridden work is really important because it can negatively impact their welfare. Horses might be more irritable during this season. They're going to struggle more with daily maintenance tasks, especially if they've been bitten by flies recently. And you often see videos and you might have experienced it yourself of horses having very strong reactions to being bitten by flies. Each season, it's ideal to check your horse over to make sure that they're still comfortable with any of the products you typically use on your yard. So making sure that your horse is comfortable with the fly spray being applied, any kind of fly cream or any other aids. This is because one bad experience can really negatively harm how well they tolerate any other future experience. If your horse has a dangerous or difficult reaction to these sorts of things, then obviously try to find an alternative solution. But if you still want to use that particular product, there are ways to train your horse to accept those things. Desensitization is one of these. And it is ideal to have assistance from another source. So a positive reinforcement trainer would be ideal for that. If you happen to be in the Surrey or Greater London area in the UK, that is where I am based. 
um, and I do offer positive reinforcement training sessions that can cover these bases. Along with that, there are links in the description for other organisations that have similar uh, lists of people who offer these kinds of services. If you want a more in-depth version of the content that I briefly discussed here, I have a long form post on my website, uh, which just contains more of the facts and figures from the papers that I've mentioned.